Thank you. Hi, thank you. My name is Ryan Poston, and thank you for this opportunity. This will be a brief discussion on the more than a century old federal regulations on the safe transportation of hazardous materials. Uh, the hazardous materials regulations establish a minimum safety standard uh, for transport of hazardous materials to pharma within the United States. Um, the, the standards for which we, we uh, Promulgate uh, uh, cover the classification, packaging, handling, and the overall carriage uh, of, of hazardous materials safely. And in doing so, um, uh, we incorporate 170, 174 publications incorporated by reference. Um, 13 of those are free. Um, the SDOs, as listed on the on the slides, uh, are a wide variety of different. Uh, of uh, associations and technical standard organizations and and uh, one of them in particular here that uh, Lisa uh, has helped me as a prop this is the IMDG code this is the International Maritime Dangerous Goods Code it is a nonprofit international forum that pre that prescribes regulations for the international transportation by by vessel of dangerous goods and we incorporate that by reference another Example is the CGA, the Compressed Gas Association standards for uh, how to inspect uh, aluminum cylinders in an, in an adequate manner, and we uh, incorporate that by reference for any of those that perform requalification of high-pressure DOT specification containers. Um, some of the other facts also include, uh, if I have already mentioned it, 13 of those 174 uh, incorporated by reference standards are free. Uh, 57 have secondary references. Um, there are over 14,000 pages of, of, uh, of reference material, and the cost ranges from our, of 174 range from $15 to $700. Um, we also, um, I'd like to note that uh, um, about 80% of what we incorporate by reference represent packaging standards. Uh, the hazardous materials regulations effectively establish a strong set of packaging standards to ensure containment, proper containment of, of, a, of a material in transportation, much like a pipeline as long as it stays in the pipe. We prescribe requirements for drums and cylinders and cargo tanks and tank cars and, and trains. Um, about 15 percent of those are also how to determine flammabilities, uh, classification standards. What is a hazardous material? Um, is it water? Uh, what level of water does it have to be? Uh, uh, what level of corrosivity does it make? To, does it meet the standards for corrosivity? And about two percent don't fall in any particular category, and they fall in a general category of just transport safety. And thank you.